On this episode of Motivates Through Yourself Garage, we're going to see how well the Canon filter catches dirt after 50,000 kilometers or 31,000 miles. These Canon panel air filters were purchased used, clean, oiled, and installed in July of 2016. Since then, the car has done 50,000 kilometers or about 31,000 miles. And over the last two years, we have had the engine oil analyzed four times, all just to see if the Canon panel air filters are doing a good job of keeping dirt out of an engine. Now, a used oil analysis is the most cost-effective and accurate way to determine how well your air filter is filtering in your car for the conditions that you drive in. For about $40, you can find out how much dirt is in your engine oil. Now, since dirt and dust are mostly made up of fine sand, this will show up on the report as silicon. Why silicon? Well, that's the most common component of sand. If you want to understand the basics, click on the eye in the top right to jump to the first used oil analysis we did way back in episode 16. It explains why we only need to look at three things. All right then, let's see how they did. I typically change my oil at around 11,000 kilometers or about 7,000 miles. Now, let's see how much dirt is in the engine oil. And to do that, we only need to look at one thing. Silicon. Silicon generally indicates how much dirt or sand got past the air filter and ended up in the engine oil. But it can also come from other sources like new gaskets, spray lubricants, and it can even be an additive in new oil. Now, if you're wondering how dirt from the air intake system gets into the engine oil, it's due to something called blow-by. Since the piston rings don't make a perfect gas seal during the high pressure of the combustion stroke, some gases escape past the piston rings and end up inside the crankcase where they get collected in the engine oil. Now, the very first oil analysis showed the result of a used paper air filter that came with the car and resulted in 28 parts per million of silicon. Then the K&N filters were installed, and since then they've been at 26, 29, and now back to 26 parts per million. Anything more than about 30 parts per million is considered abnormal. If your silicon level is more than 30, you should check to make sure the air filter is properly installed, check all airbox clips and screws, and even check for rips or splits in the air filter element. I've seen it happen. Next up is iron which is generally from cylinder walls, valve train, balance shafts, or any steel part in contact with the oil. It was 7, 10, 9.7, and now it's 8 parts per million. Over the last two years, it's ranged between 7 to 10 parts per million, and consistent results like this over a narrow range indicates all is well. Values greater than 150 parts per million are considered abnormal. Lead. Lead is mostly from the crankshaft and connecting rod bearings. Values greater than 50 parts per million are considered abnormal. As you can see, all my lead values were good until I went to a high-performance driving school and I suspect my engine oil got very hot and very hot oil is very thin oil. So, lead jumped to 20 parts per million. On the last sample, it dropped down to 15 parts per million. And I suspect on the next oil change, that analysis will show a similar drop of about 5 parts per million. Now, you may be wondering, why does it drop so slow? When you change engine oil, you never get it all out. For example, the engine in the G37 or 370Z, there is about 0.8 liters or 1.7 pints of oil that remain in the engine. Now, most of that is inside the engine block oil passages and also the passages in the crankshaft. That's why it can take a few oil changes for the wear metals to stabilize. Aluminum. Aluminum is mostly from pistons, cylinder heads, and the engine block itself. It was 9, 9, 8.5, and now it's 6 parts per million. Values greater than 40 parts per million are considered abnormal. Everything seems fine here. Alright, let's wrap up this episode. After 2 years, 50,000 kilometers, or 31,000 miles, these Canon filters are a lot dirtier than I expected. And I'm a little surprised at how good the used engine oil analysis results are. So. Even with Canon filters this dirty, they're still catching dirt just fine. Hey, if you have any doubts about my results, you may want to get your own used engine oil analysis and see your results for your car for the conditions you drive in.